This is the Pedestrian Detection Video Management System. This utilizes OpenCV with Python, FFmpeg with Node, and HLS with JavaScript. Let's look at the user interface now. We have two video streams that are streaming live. We can click on one of the events below to jump around to the historical playback. You notice how quickly the events jump to the previous events. This is one of the benefits of HLS. Uh, the historical playback can go back days, months, and years. In the stream, you can see yellow boxes being drawn around the pedestrians, both in the live view and in the historical playback. Um, an event that has a pedestrian is highlighted red. That's mostly all the time in this these particular streams. Um, the pedestrian detection is working with motion detection. So it, the detection algorithm is only detecting in areas of the frame where there is motion. This prevents the entire frame from being scanned and saves on computing power. Uh, there is a downside that you can't detect pedestrians that are holding still. From a security, from a security system perspective, this could be a reasonable trade-off because any pedestrian worth tracking is probably moving, but we could turn this feature off if we need to. Uh, also, it's looking at the largest motions in the frame, so it, and we can we can set that to be more than just one or two largest frames. So I'll, ex I'll look at that. Um, I'll explain that a little bit later. Let's look at the configuration of the server. So this config is explained in detail in the readme, but there are a few parameters that I wanted to point out. One being the segment time, that is how long each of these transport files um, are. And next is the list size, so this is the number of transport files we want to keep before they are automatically deleted. And we could multiply these numbers together to get the total length of time that we want to save in the historical playback. So we could, this is about 90 minutes as it is, we could increase this one so that reaches up to about two weeks. That could be a good uh, amount of historical time we want to keep. Um, another pair of interesting configurations is input FPS and detect FPS. So input FPS is the frame rate of the of everything except the detection boxes and detect FPS is the detect boxes uh, this is how frequently an image is extracted from an incoming frame and used for detection that is why you will notice in the video why the people are walking smoothly but the boxes move slower in this instance the frame rate of the video is about 30 frames per second and the box is about three frames per second. Uh, this is much more enjoyable to see the content of the video smoothly, but the detection is frequently enough and it doesn't overwhelm the CPU. So like I pointed out earlier, these are the transport files. These are created by HLS. Each one is about four seconds long or whatever you can configure it to be. Uh, when you click um, on an event in the historical playback, the browser is just downloading the proper file based on the manifest file, which is why it loads really fast. And when you click live, it's just downloading the latest transport file. Let's look at this actually. Let's look at this one. So this is the output of the detection algorithm. Um, this is a mostly transparent PNG image with the region of detection as the yellow rectangle. This image is superimposed on the output stream using FFmpeg and saved to the transport files. So now let's look at that FFmpeg command. So the first line here is where the stream comes in. The fourth line is where the images are extracted from the stream, a series of images, and fed into the detection algorithm. 
the second line is where that image is, is, is um, FFmpeg accepts this image as a secondary input and it reads this image over and over again and the third line is where it overlays that image that mo um, onto on the onto the stream and then the rest is saving it to the transport files so that's pretty neat so line 79 and 80 we are spawning ffmpeg and the python detection so let's look at the detection now so this is a wrapper around the detect algorithm and this mostly just handles the spawn arguments uh, this keeps the detect algorithm uh, a class so it can continue to be used in other applications um, line 29 here is where we're accepting the data from the ffmpeg stream this reshapes that data into a three-dimensional array, one for height, one for width, and uh, another one for the RGB colors. So, and then it puts it into this process frame function here, which is here. So this is the detection algorithm. It uh, accepts the reshaped frame, does <coughs> basic motion detection uh, using this function here. So this basically it takes the average of the previous five frames and then the next coming frame is compared to the average and we get the motion blobs in this frame delta. And then we find the contours of this frame of, of this delta and we look, we sort the contours by size, and then we look at the largest contours, and the largest areas of motion, and we can set, uh, this is a variable we can set, we can either look at the first largest one, or the first two, or first three, and get those, and then we can um, go through them, and they, if they are big enough, the motion area is snipped out of the frame and then sent to the detection algorithm. So it's snipped out. So we do this so that we're not processing the entire frame. And here is the detection algorithm. And when we get the results, we then stitch them back together with the main frame and we can save it as our mostly transparent image. These are other two outputs we can do. This just um, shows it in a little window and then this one shows it um, shows the detection region and the full colored frame saves it to the file but for this uh, application we are just using this one here. So I uh, just wanted to show you the manifest file here, so this is a little, oh, not you, here. So this is a little bit how HLS works. So whenever a new transport file is created, uh, it is updated in the manifest file here. Um, the browser will download this file repeatedly to know the order of the transport files and then HLS will stitch them together and play the video in the element in the browser. So that's pretty much how it works. Um, ideal setting would be video surveillance setup. This allows the operator to see events where pedestrian motion occurs and they are able to quickly jump around to the different events or just let it uh, stream live.